welcome back. I'm sitting with Elisa Bender and Steven Gonzalez from the Greater St. Louis Hispanic Festival. And we're gonna continue the discussion about this great festival that's coming up um, in, in um, later this month. But Steven, I, the thing that you're gonna tell me about, which is a huge component, is the live music, is the performances. Right. So what can we expect this, this, this year? Well, we're gonna have, a, you know, there's a ton in store for the whole weekend. You know, this is, you know, if you're not gonna experience the culture and the food and everything else, you're definitely gonna see it in all the performances that we're gonna have. So, um, you know, we're expecting, we have about seven headlining bands, uh, anywhere from Mambo de Leon to Tropical Azul. Uh, we're also going to have Los Patrones, oh, excuse me, Los Patrones de, oh my gosh, San, San Luis. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. No, are these, lo are these local bands or they're traveling no, from all a over? Them, a, a lot of them are from surrounding cities. So some are a few from Kansas City, some local. Um, we, I think we have some coming from Illinois as well. So yeah, they're uh, surrounding cities too. So. So that's very fun. How many, is it just one stage or are there, there are multiple stages then? Or is We're going to have one main stage one main where stage. it's all, it's going to be taking place Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So, okay. Yeah. All right. No, that's great. And I know we wanted to add some more stuff about the kids festival because obviously, right. you know, you want it to bring it, be able to bring the whole family. And right. what else is going on? I know Consuelo had mentioned some, but tell me a bit more about the kids area. Well, the great thing about the kids area is most activities are free. Mm -hmm. So you can bring the whole family. Kids can have fun. We'll have face painting course the pinatas and then we'll have a special visit by Dora and Diego each day Saturday and Sunday so they'll be there and dancing with the kids and doing pictures and things like that uh, we'll also have a petting zoo there as well mm -hmm. and uh, I think some inflatable rides okay. for the kids too so yeah there'll be there'll be a lot to do a lot a lot of fun for everyone in the family so now what year is this for the Greater Hispanic Festival you know we were just debating that <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're 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 Comfortable with 20 years. 20 years, yes. yeah. Because <laughs> the, re well, the reason I asked and what I was going to ask you is, you know, really in the past 20 years, I'd say more though in the past five years, there's been, there have been a lot, you know, Cherokee Street, obviously, there's more and more festivals. Right. You guys actually do another, your organization does another festival yes. out in the Hazelwood Florissant area. Yes. So I guess where I was going with that is, do you feel more and more that just the St. Louis, the greater St. Louis area is kind of everyone's on board with sort of celebrating, you know, international culture really but specifically Hispanic yeah. culture yeah you know yes I do um, you know I born I was born and raised here in mm -hmm. North County and you know when I went to school I was the only Hispanic in school and mm -hmm. it seemed like n things didn't really start changing until about 15 20 years ago and now you find that um, not only are there are a lot more Hispanics here but like you said a lot of those that are here are willing and wanting to embrace the mm -hmm. culture not even just the Hispanic culture mm -hmm. other cultures because there's so many other cultures here in St. Louis too um, so we're really excited we're, we're excited you know we started 20 years ago with you know a one day a few hour event in Faust Park with $500 <laughs> and now we're you know a couple events a year in downtown St. Louis several days so it's really evolved and we're really excited. Yeah, and Stephen, is there anything that you wanted to add to Well, that? you know, it's, I come from Texas. I'm originally from Texas where the culture is, you know, it's present. Absolutely. You know, coming yeah. up here, it's nice to see the small community that's, you know, it's just a great opportunity to really, you know, not to experience all the different Latin cultures that are out there. So mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's wonderful. How do you like, how long have you been I've in? I've been here for about a month. So. Oh, <laughs> you're, oh, you're really just, yeah. you just, yeah, moved, just here moved here from, yeah. from Texas. <laughs> right. What do you think most, I was gonna say then, what do you think people really love about the festival, but this will be your first year right. involved in, but what do you think overall each year kind of keeps people coming back? Is it really, is it, because you do have a great selection of right. live music. Is it the food? Is it just the overall experience? What would you say? I like to say it's the overall experience, but the, the two Two things that we, you know, people always are talking about are is the food and the entertainment. Mm -hmm. What music is playing, the atmosphere, and then of course the food we get. Even just on Facebook, you know, is so and so going to be there? Is Empanada's going to be there? Is you know, <laughs> my favorite bakery going to be there? You know, they all. Everyone wants to know, so yeah. it's pretty exciting. And, and one component I forgot to even mention today uh -huh. was um, we're going to have a lowrider car cruise mm. on Sunday, uh, the twenty eighth at two o'clock. So we're pretty excited about that. And so it's just the car cruise, they're gonna, it's a parade of lowriders down. Actually, they call it a car cruise, but they're parked. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So they go and they park and they have like low rider, different kind, you know, sure. they, they deck out their cars and they bounce and all kinds <laughs> of fun, st interesting things. So they'll be down there that Sunday afternoon. So while it might not be moving down the street, you can still exactly. see it. Exactly. Right. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. You've covered a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you again to everyone for the restaurants and 
vendors for bringing everything in. This is delicious, Thank and good you. luck with everything. And we'll see you see you that weekend, the last weekend of September. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, the information's right there for you again on your screen. It's the Greater St. Louis Hispanic Festival. Twenty years. We think twenty years. Might be yeah, twenty years. But uh, really a wonderful, wonderful, fun time. I can attest to that. And this year it's going to be at Soulard Park, right next to Soulard Market. So go check it out. Um, it's a free event. Obviously, you have to buy your food and everything like that. But you can just go hang out. Again, head to Hispanic Festival STL. Dot com and thank you again. Thank you so much thank for joining you. us. All right, well, we still have more STL TV Live coming your way. If you love clothes, fashion, and music, then you don't want to miss out on what's next here on STL TV Live. We'll be right back with more information after this.